right. So as far as the industry is concerned right now, like, I mean, what do you think changed the game as far as mixtapes right now in the market? Philly. I think Philly niggas did it. Like, like when, when um, like, shit was, shit was selling. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck up. Shit was selling. But when, when, when the niggas, when, when, like, we had, like, that whole crazy big-ass battle inside our own city. Do y'all realize I had the whole United States buzzing? Do you realize I had a motherfucker from Egypt say, Kaboom, you killing it? From Egypt? What? From Egypt. Have you been there? I haven't. You know what I'm saying? I was like, yo, we changing the game, dawg. We changing the game, dawg. There's a couple other, other motherfuckers out in the street that's doing anything like myself, and... There's motherfuckers that really look up to us and think, some people think we the best rappers alive. Like, better than Jay-Z and all. There was a time when they shit wasn't selling until Wayne came out and started really crushing shit. Wasn't niggas selling nothing, like, on a mixtape-wise? Niggas wasn't, we was drumming them niggas out. Niggas wasn't coming to this for accident for, no, for nobody. But Philly motherfuckers, copping the fuck up. Like, real talk. Like, we changed the game for real. Like, 50, you know what I'm saying? He started that shit, that whole mixtape thing, believe it or not. He started it. You know what I'm saying? We carrying it on, like real shit. And we ain't got no big budget behind us. We ain't got no real money behind us. We street niggas and shit. That recorded mixtapes, put them bitches out. And look at that shit. Motherfuckers from damn, from Nevada ordering them Jones and shit. Like, tip you on. You in Las Vegas, bro. You in Philly. That's what I'm talking about. Like, we change the game. And if anybody feel otherwise, change it. Do something about it. Drop. It's not gonna make a difference though, cause smashing y'all. Yeah. Alright. So what kind of person is a kaboom fan? A regular nigga. You know what I'm saying? A regular motherfucker is a kaboom fan. You know what I'm saying? Cause I, I don't like everybody from everybody. Real fact. Everybody. From 40 year old moms. You know what I'm saying? From a 40 year old mom to a to a a uh, 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 12 year old white boy is a kaboom fan. You know what I'm saying? Because because I, I spit a lot of shit that motherfuckers can't th can't think of and shit. Like that shit is easy like it. I spit a lot of shit that motherfuckers can't think of and shit. Like motherfuckers say, damn, you use a lot of punchlines and all that shit. I choose to. It's not like I'm limited to. I choose to punch your head off. I choose to make the challenge your mind, to make you think. You know what I'm saying? About damn. Like whether it's about selling crack to guns to whether it's about. You know what I'm saying? A dead be dad to a love story. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm a regular nigga. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I hustle crazy. I had jobs. I'm not no big ass cocaine dealer. I, I'm not a murderer, but I will fuck you up. And, you know what I'm saying? I sold my share of shit. And I, and I worked at regular jobs. You know what I'm saying? So a Kaboom fan is an everyday hardworking motherfucker no matter what you do. That's a Kaboom fan. Because, you know what I'm saying? He like. Damn, I fucks with boy. I wanted to be like boy. Boy, talk that shit. Regular motherfucker. All right. So uh, right now in the game, you know, today it's a lot of fads and trends going on. So what do you wish would uh, come back, and what do you wish would go away? I wish the East Coast would come back. I really do. Like where lyrics really meant something. It was a time in the game where lyrics really meant something. Like, you know what I'm saying? Now you got. Now you got. Joe Blow, corny as shit, on a hot ass beat and shit. Like, that shit is atrocious, man. Like, I just wish, like, lyrics would come back. You know what I'm saying? Where motherfuckers really put time into their in, in the raps, into their lyrics. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 in, 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 in the days where, where niggas like, where niggas like Hove really, really, really stood out. Because you had to spit that shit. You know what I'm saying? When niggas like Beans... And, and kiss and niggas like that really really stood out for real for real and, and niggas like Eminem, you know what I'm saying? Where lyrics really meant something. It wasn't about this and neck bullshit. Like I fucks with that shit. Don't get it fucked up. I love that shit. But I'm just saying though, like, that shit is drawn though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just wish that shit had come back real right. This shit is sad right now. You know what I'm saying? I wish motherfuckers start supporting again because this YouTube um LimeWire shit where you can just download motherfucking shit for free, go to YouTube and watch this shit is killing it. Like, you don't even, it's pointless to drop a DVD because the same day you drop it's going to be on YouTube. 
So your money is cut 75%, yo. That shit is crazy. That shit is disgusting, yo. Long wire, you might as well not try to charge for mixtapes because people can just go there and get it for free. So I wish it came back, a time came back when we ain't have all that shit. I'm thankful for that shit because it's good promotion. You know what I'm saying? But that shit is sad, man. So when it comes to the mixtapes, like, is there any artists besides yourself and your team, like, that you that you get excited about when you know they they got a mixtape out in the streets? I mean, of course, a couple niggas I, I definitely fuck with. Like, um, I fucks with Weezy. I, I definitely do, cause like I say, you nigga that make you think. You gotta think, like, damn, how that nigga think of that? I like that shit. I like for motherfuckers to say shit. Me as a rapper, I never thought of. You know what I'm saying? Um, Jeezy, of course, he's he's my favorite. He's my favorite. Like, you know what I'm saying? So like, when Jeezy drop, I need parts. You know what I'm saying? When Weezy drop, I need parts. You know what I'm saying? Everybody else, really, you know what I'm saying? They ain't really that that spectacular to me. So it had to be Weezy and Jeezy. Of course, Kiss. You know what I'm saying? But you know, I'm always be a Kiss fan. So that's, you know, everybody got big kids fans. So that's just like automatic. But Weezy, Jeezy, that shit rhyme. Weezy, Jeezy, KBZ. My three favorite rappers. You know what I'm saying? So. Okay. So if any artists, DJs, producers, or executives want to get in contact with you, you know, what's the best way they should do that? Well, hit me on a space. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got three MySpace pages just so that you can't miss me. You know what I'm saying? MySpace.com, Kaboom Music 215. MySpace.com, Kaboom WP. MySpace.com, Kaboom Daddy. Like, that's the best way to reach me, you know what I'm saying? All you gotta do is scream at me, like, and we could definitely get some money out here. So, uh, is there anything that we haven't talked about that you know you wanna tell the world? I'm coming for y'all. I'm coming for y'all. Y'all better hide in them offices. Y'all, matter of fact, you better not let me in them offices because I'm coming for y'all. Like, real, real, I'm taking y'all job. I'll make sure y'all get fired from rap. Put your career in the trash bag. All that good shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, real, rap. I just want people to just to know, like, I'm coming. I'm not stopping. You know what I'm saying? I'm known all around the United States. No budget, no major promotion, no nothing. So imagine if I could do that with no bread. Imagine when they put some bread in my hand, some real bread. It's going to be a nightmare and I'm Freddy. Real rap. So that's it. And I just want y'all to just cop up. I'm going in. Go on with me. No more. And that's what it is, you know what I'm saying? New free music. New free mixtape. New free mixtape. It's the same. New free mixtape, new free music. That's what we on right now.